Hello and welcome to FNN. With all the talks recently regarding critical race theory and a push from the left to have it be mandatory teaching in schools, I figured why don't we take a look at CRT in action at the university. So please enjoy the following video of a Penn State Uni professor picking out white students and explaining why their skin color gives them an advantage over minorities. And what that means is the following. I just take the average white guy in class, whoever it is. It doesn't really matter, dude. Dude, this guy right here. Dude, look, stand up, bro. What's your name, bro? Russell. Like Russell. This, look at Russell here. Russell has Sean. This is the, I'm making your argument for you, right? Look at Russell right here. Just doesn't matter what he does. If I match him up with the black, a black guy in class, or a brown guy even, but let me just stay with a black guy in class who's just like him, has the same GPA, looks like him, walks like him, talks like him, acts in the similar way, has been involved in the same groups on campus, is it, takes the same leadership positions, does whatever it is. If I match him up against that person, we send him in to the same jobs upon graduation. You've all done, he's done everything he's supposed to do. And the person I match him with has done everything he has been supposed to do. He's supposed to do at Penn State, right? They tell you, right? They, do, do it, man. Go see your advisors and go do this and go do internships and do. And if you did this, if Russell did the same things, it's just the next per somebody else I find in this classroom and they go through four years here exactly together. Russell has a benefit of having white skin. Bro, how's it feel knowing that push comes to shove, like your skin's kind of nice? I don't know. I mean, it makes me feel like sad because like God knows I don't deserve it. You know what I mean? Like I didn't choose to be white. So like, you know what I mean? Like, I, like it makes me upset that like, you know, my brothers and sisters of like other races can't like experience those things for something that I didn't like, you know, I didn't do anything to like deserve that. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know, it just makes me upset. So, so we're in, in this is the problem with white people. The question then becomes is what should we do? So there are all sorts of white people sitting, Sean, yep. there are all sorts of white people sitting out here in the class right now saying, What's so good, what yeah. should I do? The classic American success idea here mm -hmm. is that they're going to be treated equal. In the United States, if you work hard, you go to Penn State, you, you get good grades, you get your degree, you do what you have to do, you dress decently, you speak decently, you do all the things you're supposed to do decently, you're going to be treated the same. That's, that's the American dream here. Okay, and that's why I'm asking like for a more for more of a background because you just explained a whole bunch of different privileged kind of backgrounds in one. Yeah. So I'm asking like where they're coming from, like what their experiences are, and like what they're applying yeah, but, for. Yeah, too, yeah but that time. doesn't matter here, dude. Right now we're going. <laughs> we're this is an experiment. This is a research okay. project. Okay, and right. and I'm telling you how it worked out. So we control for everything. So watch this. Okay. Okay. Man, you sound like a. You don't sound like a critical race guy. You sound like a conservative white guy who doesn't believe there's any racism. Like, well, I'm not Jesus really sure which Christ. one's going to get discriminated against. <laughs> all right. So, Yo, all right, so here we go. Your, Your racial, racial identity, identity is the most important thing. thing. Everything, Everything should be looked, looked at through the lens of race. race. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Damn.